All right, Dad, I'm going to make the case yes. that right now is the best time in 2022 to buy a car if you need to buy a car. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Let's see if your case holds water. All right. If you need to buy a car yeah. or you expect that you're going to need to buy a car, I'll say within the next 12 to 18 months, right now is the absolute best time to do it because yeah. A, inflation. Yeah. B, continued new car shortage. Yes. C, relative unknown of what's going to happen in the supply chain moving forward. And no one seems to think it's going to get better. Everyone seems to think it's going to get worse. Because of all of those factors, yes. I think it makes the most sense to actually just commit to the expensive, the seemingly expensive price today. Yes. Knowing that the prices will not be any cheaper, nor will you have any more negotiating leverage Six months from now, 12 months from now, I'll even say 18 months from now. Yes. And so I would say on the used car side, your best option would be to try and negotiate, I'll say 5 to 10% below the dealer's advertised price, which is reasonable on the out the door because we're seeing some wholesale pressure there. Mm -hmm. And on a new car, to factory order if you can, and if you have to buy off a dealer's lot to try and find a deal at MSRP. I think it makes the most sense to do that right now and not to wait. Does that hold water with you? I think. Huh. Uh, this this is like point counterpoint they used to do on on uh, sixty minutes on. Uh, I think that the potential is there for a major recession, okay, because of everything that's going on in the world right now with the war in Ukraine, with uh, natural disasters, with supply chain issues, and and all this crazy inflation. So that if six months from now, ten months from now, whatever it is. Um, Things just become so out of control price-wise, um, and we do have a recession, there'll be so much less demand uh, that the demand will be so far below what the supply is that the prices could and would conceivably come down in order to encourage those folks who are afraid to spend their money to get back in the market and spend their money. If you're like me and you need to know about EVs, tune into our new show on YAA Electric, plugged in Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Okay, so you reminded me of something that we haven't brought up yet, which absolutely impacts this, which would be interest rates. So we've yes. already heard that interest rates are going to be going up. They've already gone up one, one interest rate hike yes. so far at the time of filming this. Six more planned yes. this year. You increase interest rates, it makes borrowing money more expensive. If it's more expensive to borrow money, then that should, in theory, lead to less economic activity. Less economic ac economic activity leads to the R word, recession, yeah. right? Well, it, it, this this is the Fed's tool to try and fight inflation. And, it's and, like you've and, got a lose-lose situation. And, and, and what happens is, is because things become more and more um, uh, expensive to, to buy on time, people become less likely to actually do it. Now you've taken people out of the marketplace, and so you have the less demand, and that's ultimately what causes the prices, the inflated prices, to come back down because that's the only way you can get the people back in the market. So would that not suggest that a pro, let's do pro-cons here, a pro of buying a car right now is you should be able to lock in a better interest rate if you're going to finance it or lease yes. on the money factor than you would be able to six months from now, eight oh, months Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So that one part, pro, that, yeah. that part, that there's no disputing that. So, okay, so one pro of buying now yes. is interest rate. Yes. Right, that makes sense. I would say another pro of buying now, yes. if you're paying cash too, is the fact that your money goes further today than it will probably six, eight, 12 months from now. Like, I'm not an economist. You're not an economist. I, I, haven't, I haven't even read The Economist. I don't think there's any expectation that you can just like flip a switch and inflation stops, right? Like there's probably some time horizon here where inflation is going to continue. So your money's worth more today than it is tomorrow. Yes. So I think that's another pro to the idea of buying today. Cons of buying today are you potentially miss out on an economic recession where demand for vehicles is greater than, or excuse me, less than supply of vehicles, which is an environment we haven't been in for quite some time now. Two, three years now? Two years. Two years. Yes. When that does happen, there will likely be manufacturer incentives, the dealers who were even giving- if there, Even if there aren't manufacturer incentives, there will be dealer incentives because the cost of holding on to those cars has gone up with every interest rate increase. Whether so a pro of waiting, a pro of waiting is you actually probably will have more negotiating leverage six, eight, 12 months from now because the floor plan cost for the dealer holding onto that inventory is not, it previously was a bit trivial. Yes. Now it's not. And, and, and quite frankly, moving forward, it will be an even yeah, bigger factor. And, and, and it, it, it no longer becomes trivial every time you have a rate increase, uh, say on 
seven or eight or ten million dollars of borrowed money. Yeah, yeah, and we've then, already then heard, it becomes significant. We've already heard from <laughs> folks in our community. I mean, they're paying two and a half, three, three and a half percent. Uh, on floor plan costs right now, on yes. our inventory. So that right, even right now, that's not insignificant. That's no. a lot of money. Yes. So a, a, a con of buying now and a pro for buying in the future would be potentially more negotiating leverage. Because yes. you really don't have much, maybe on new, on used cars, but even that window that we've, we've talked about in prior videos, that's kind of running out because of the fact that there's so many new car supply yes. issues. I'm trying to think, are there any other pros and cons of why one of us would be right? Um, no, but only time will tell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think if I had to buy a car in the yes. next 18 months, I'd yeah. probably just pull the trigger. I hear what you're saying about the recession, but I, in my heart of heart, I think no matter what, my dollar goes further today than it will tomorrow. We, we know that, that used car prices last year, wholesale used car prices last year, uh, were up about 35%. No, 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 no. Wholesale were up 51%. 51%. Retail rate, were up 35%. 35%. Excuse me. Um, so... Uh, we know that everything is overvalued at yeah. the moment, and it's got to come back to earth at some point. And I don't know, if it were me, and I don't need a car, but if it were me, I, I would wait for when it comes plummeting back to earth. Now, the only problem with that is I might not be able to afford it even at, at the reduced rate because the interest rates could be so high and because my money's worthless. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, who knows? But I, I do think that, that we're about to experience something similar to what we saw in 2008. I don't think if we have a recession, I don't think it will be the Great Recession or the coming of the second Great Recession. I don't think it'll be that significant. But but there will be a moment where, you know, we get back to reality. What's the saying? Or it's it's a, is it one of Newton's laws? Like every action has an equal, equal opposite, opposite reaction. reaction. Yes. Let us know in the comments. Let us know in the comments what which side you're on. Are you team Ray? Are you team Zach? I know you're probably team Ray. That's fine. I'm not offended. But I'm curious if people agree with me or agree with my dad. Because it's it's interesting. There's two, definitely two schools of thought right now. Oh, absolutely. Oh, and you know what the right school of thought is? Um, to not buy a damn car. Well, that is true. <laughs> if you if you don't need a car, if you just want a car, do not buy a car right now. Yeah, 100%. That's the other thing that will force dealers to lower the prices. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, Pops. If let's, the market shrinks. Let's see what happens. Okay. I'm, I'm on board. I hope to live long enough. <laughs>